Quick, what do the Marshall Islands and Crimea have in common? If you said both have treaties with the United States that guarantee their protection, you were right. Marshall Islands, or officially the Republic of the Marshall Islands, is an island country near the equator in the Pacific Ocean just west of the International Date Line that went under U.S. control at the end of World War II. In 1986, the country gained independence and signed the Compact of Free Association Treaty with the United States through which the U.S. provides for their defense. On Tuesday, a Marshall Islands cargo ship, the Maersk Tigris, was fired on by Iranian patrol boats, then boarded in the Strait of Hormuz. The ship was then forced to the port of Bandar Abbas, where the main Iranian naval base is located. Retired Brigadier General Ernie Audino went on Fox News with a few possibilities as to why. You know, there's a range of possible motivations. One, I mean, it could be just a mistake. I don't really believe that. Two, it could be a way to ratchet up some of the pressure on Saudi Arabia and the Saudi coalition that right now is trying to constrain the opposition inside Yemen. This was not the Iranian Navy that did this. This was the naval element of the Iranian, Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps. Whatever the reason for Iran's act of aggression, the big question now is will the United States stand by the 1986 treaty and move to defend Marshall Islands and the ship under its flag? Yesterday, the Pentagon said it would be able to respond to help any ship of the Marshall Islands, but gave vague answers when pressed about how far the United States Navy would be willing to go. According to Pentagon spokesman Colonel Steve Warren, the USS Farragut is nearby and at the ready should the U.S. decide to intervene. So what will Obama do? He has a history of siding with America's enemies and sticking it to our allies. He also has a history of allowing aggression to go unchecked. He's been known to draw lines in the sand and then fail to act when his lines are crossed, and Iran is well aware of this fact. And as far as the 1986 treaty with Marshall Islands is concerned, with this fool in the White House, no treaty is worth the paper it's written on. Just ask Crimea. Thanks for listening, and be sure to catch the weekly Ray Warner Show and subscribe on iTunes or at the theraywarnershow.com.